This is my new aquarium computer. It's built out of a 2.5 gallon fish tank. Inside is a Intel Core i7 CPU, a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 graphics card, 600 watt power supply, solid state drive, 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM at 1600 megahertz, little bobbing treasure chest, fake plants, NeoPixel strip that has 51 individually controllable full color LEDs. And the tank is filled with 2.5 gallons of mineral oil, which is a non conductive liquid. Over here, this thing is a pump that will pump the mineral oil through some tubing in the back. And under my desk, I mounted two radiators that will cool the oil as it goes through them. And behind the radiators are six cooling fans that have variable speed control. And here's a circuit I built. It has a microcontroller connected by USB and it's also connected to several temperature sensors in many important spots in the tank. And this is what controls the pump, the LEDs, and the fan. And it will report the temperature to the computer. Here I'm using open hardware monitor, which is open source. So I added my own bit of code to interact with my microcontroller so it reports the temperature of the oil in the tank. All the wiring is, uh, I cut up this lid to expose the back. The wiring is a little messy, but eh. HDMI cable, all the USB ports. I added two more USB 3.0 ports. That's a RGB LED. Uh, it's green when power's on. It will blink red when there's hard drive activity, and it will be blue when the computer's in sleep mode and there's a power switch that's always glowing blue. It's, this is going to be ugly when I lift this. And here's another circuit board and its job is to fool the speed sensors in the cooling fans in here to make the computer think that they're spinning twice as fast as as they actually are, so they don't, uh, so BIOS doesn't freak out and think the fan failed uh, because the fan, while spinning in a fluid, will spin much slower than if it were spinning in open air. And there's also three opto isolators here to separate the signals uh, from the motherboard to this board uh, so that uh, an accident on this board will not kill my motherboard. And another interesting feature is that uh, SSD is actually removable. Ah, I made a little slot and a little holder here so just in case I need data recovery or need to swap out a drive, that's at least removable. And that's a tour of my aquarium computer.